Hey, good morning to you, my brethren. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. Well, it's another hotel, another bad cup of hotel coffee, getting ready for a long day. We're at the Edgewater Hotel and Conference Center here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, preparing for the Forever Us Marriage Conference and the Next Steps Conference for our young people. And we have just had a grand time on last evening as it started and then truth is we we've got a bigger crowd this year i think than we've ever had and had just a great opening and if you get the chance to come next year you ought to come today i've been thinking sitting here in the ballroom of the conference center been thinking about the subject of fear Um, you know we've covered that subject a time or two but i was thinking about what jesus said to the disciples over there he said let not your heart be troubled In other words, there are going to be things that come our way that are going to have the potential of troubling our heart. The the difference is I have the option and choice, according to the words of Christ, as to whether or not I will allow it to trouble me. So it's, it's up to me. This is a choice that has been laid in my lap by sovereign God. Will you allow this to trouble you or will you conquer it and will you allow yourself to be in reality what you are in position and that is more than a conqueror through christ who loved us so what am i going to do about this business of being troubled in fear someone approached it was a military governor in a foreign country that approached um, uh, general Patton, general george s Patton, and he said general Patton, you are such a such a brave brave soldier and such a hero And he responded, Patton responded by saying, no, I'm an utter coward. That's exactly what I am. I'm an absolute coward. He said, there's never been a day when I have been in battle and the bullets have been flying and artillery landing around me that I wasn't scared and that I wasn't fearful. He said, but one thing I have learned through the years is I refuse to take counsel of my fears. I won't allow counsel to speak in my ear now, what are you what are you going to do with your fears? Are you are you taking counsel every day of your fears? I counsel people all the time, and one of the greatest problems I have in counseling with men and women is getting them to overcome the potential of disaster that has caused great fear in their heart and life. And the majority of the things that they fear don't even come to pass. Hey, think on these things today. Pray for us here at the conference, and you have a great day.